for some veterans returning home, it can be very difficult, especially if dealing with anxiety or PTSD. Now programs are popping up across the country that take our heroes to the beehives. Through beekeeping, the soldiers are able to engage in their local community while combining outdoor activities with education. Heroes to hives and bees for vets. A couple examples, teaching veterans how to handle and care for bees. And a lot of these programs are free. They can be up to nine months in length. And I just love this concept as almost it's, it's therapy, treatment, engagement all together, right? Absolutely, and for people who are struggling with PTSD, oftentimes there's a sense of loss of purpose, loss of identity, they feel isolated, they feel alone. Well, this is great, because it literally brings them to a community where you can rebuild trust again, rebuild a sense of purpose, or doing something that's so nutritious and helpful for other people, and so I think it really infuses them with sort of a new sense of life and a new purpose for who they are. Between the years of 2000 and 2012, it is thought that anxiety in soldiers has more than tripled, gone up 300 plus percent. Yeah. And with statistics, you never really know for sure, but. What, what do you surmise is the reason for this, quite frankly, increasing rate of anxiety um, in our troops? And nowadays, I mean, we're seeing increasing anxiety in the general population, mm -hmm. it seems like to me, but can you pinpoint why you, you think our troops are suffering from such high rates of PTSD and anxiety when they come home? Well, I do think that there is a artifact of people being a little bit more comfortable with reporting it now. I mean, I think there's a lot you're of right. a school of thought there where you're not supposed to ever talk about it, and now people are a little bit more aware, so they're talking about it more. But still, there is a huge disconnect between what you were doing overseas when you're sort of in the service, there's sort of a purpose, you're supposed to shut everything down, and then you come back, your life feels like it's supposed to go back to normal, but it's not because you've gone through these experiences and you haven't talked about them. Mm -hmm. And so now you're left by yourself to process and them. And I think part of it's just the nature of Iraq and Afghanistan. Yes. I mean, there's no such thing as a good war, but these wars were, were different. You didn't even know who the enemy was. You were sus suspicious yeah. of everybody. I mean, women, kids, older people, everybody potentially mm -hmm you know, could have, could have been uh, the enemy. So, and that, ca that creates a lot yeah. of stress. And another element of the, the beekeeping that I love is that in a lot of these programs, veterans are able to take the honey that they're able to produce, mm -hmm. and then they can use that to raise money because that's another issue, obviously. A lot yeah. of times, vets will come home after fighting in the war and it can be difficult to find employment, right. to find a means to feed their families. And so this is, I just feel I like it. every element of this is awesome. I agree. And it also cuts down on, again, this feeling of not being connected. Purpose. Yeah, purpose. I think that's so huge for people. Mm -hmm. They come back and who am I? You know, over there I was a soldier. I was with my group. Now, now I don't have a group. And nobody has been through what they've been through. So now this group is actually put them, putting them together with people who have been through similar experiences. It's so cool. It's like a support group and purposeful, and Working they get to sell their common, honey. Work for a common goal. In various yeah. programs throughout the country, we're going to have more info on these beekeeping programs on our website.